Recording episode eight of Rocco on the Rocks. Action. Cue the music. All right. What's up, rock stars? Welcome to another episode of Rocco on the Rocks. I am joined today on this episode by one of my best friends, Tom. Thanks for having me, Rock. This is quite the pleasure. <laughs> no, Tom, and an thanks. honor as well. <laughs> and, uh, fantastic. No, it's an honor for me. I'm really happy to have you here. Yeah, thanks. Those of you listening, if you heard, we have a new soundtrack for the podcast. Yeah, it was a long time coming, but... Uh, Finally, uh, finally put it down for you. No, it sounds Happy. absolutely amazing. Yeah, Tom, it came out really good. Tom made the new theme song for the podcast, and I'm absolutely obsessed with it. I hope you guys love it, because I think it sounds great. Yeah, thanks. I, I really appreciate that. Yeah, you know? of course. You said you actually had this just laying around. Yeah, so, I mean, I've been kind of recording my own stuff for a while, just as a little hobby, mm-hmm. especially during uh, covid you know, I'll be sitting at home. More downtime. Yeah. And so I started and I bought like a little recorder, kind of like the stuff that you use for the show. Mm-hmm. And I was playing guitar a little bit already. So, you know, the computers come with all the software and so you can plug it in and use different instruments and stuff. And so, like, you know, you kind of just hit record and start going and eventually just something will rip. come out. Yeah. And uh, you kind of get the creative uh, juices flowing. And then uh, eventually something will come out that really uh catches your ear mm-hmm. so then you you know kind of build on it and you make something out of it yeah and then uh you mentioned to me maybe i don't know you've been playing in the show for a while i feel like it's been uh i've been playing the show least, for a year at least a year yeah and you mentioned to me like you know oh well, you know i'm doing the show mm-hmm. I, don't, I don't did you ask me if you wanted a if you wanted a uh, theme song did you ask me or I, I, yeah i, I asked you i said if you wanted to um because i always you're so musically talented like thank you Rocco. well we grew up together we did band in elementary school yeah yeah but and then you don't get, forget though you you were in the fifth grade band when we were in fourth grade so so were you, you know, no no you weren't yeah you were the one kid that she brought up miss how <laughs> you were the one that she brought up in the fifth grade because you were so Howell. talented so yeah, don't discount trumpet, that with the trumpet yeah that was my intru- instrument of, at mm-hmm. the time yeah um, but no you at least stuck with it i was like i'm done yeah I, I stuck with it for a while yeah you enjoyed it um honestly i only liked it because we were doing it together yeah yeah and don't forget Fo was in the band too he in, was in yeah high, yeah in, uh, <laughs> Fo in was in the school. band yeah yeah he was one of the drummers mm-hmm. I remember that that's 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 why we we're in the same classes together in middle school because oh really yeah because the way they did it was you know whoever was in your homeroom mm-hmm. was in the was like you know, your did, did the same things as you yeah so that's kind of how i met him but anyway just to finish up the conversation yeah. about the song the theme song um you know you brought it up to me and mm-hmm. like you know i i over the course of two or three years i had recorded so many Mm -hmm. little tracks yeah just ideas yeah you know a pipe dream that would probably never come true you know like yeah writing and recording Mm -hmm. music but you know it was an opportunity for me to at least make something of all the yeah it was taking up so much space in my computer Uh, i almost deleted it all a little while ago yeah thank god i said something so So for something something so stupid like but I almost deleted all of it, but then I just bought a hard drive and saved it all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, that was you never know. I'm one, of, I'm, I'm one lives. of those people. Yeah. I'm one of those people that's like kind of a hoarder. Oh, same. But like sometimes I get it. It's like, all right, yeah. I think it's time for this thing to go. I, have, I know. It's collect, got an inch of dust on it. I know. I know. That's how I felt with my this laptop right now. Yeah. I'm struggling because I'm like trying to edit like all the other clips and yeah. like get like reels and stuff for the for content. Mm-hmm. I can't even put one episode now on iMovie and it's like too much. I'm like, what do you, what do you mean? Yeah. It's too much space <laughs> or like, whatever. I have to delete everything. Yeah. And I have a hard drive. 
And I've like deleted my entire computer at least three yeah. times. And it's so, like, just kidding. Still can't do it. Yeah. That was the situation I was running into. But yeah, thankfully I saved, I saved it. Mm. And then, um, you know, this was kind of like the one thing, you know, I had a bunch of stuff where it's all like just so weird, like only, yeah. only stuff that I would really like. Mm -hmm. But um, I figured that the idea that I sent you originally was somewhere where you would want to be and mm -hmm. at least would be enjoyable to people listening yeah so anyway i made a little something out of it yeah no i i absolutely you, love it what we got so yeah i think it's the perfect theme song for the show like it has mm -hmm. that great rock vibe that mm -hmm. i love yeah um, rocko on the rocks exactly right you got to keep the vibe together like, for the rock stars for the rock stars out mm -hmm. there yeah you're like the first rock star honestly in my like the first rock star that i know of on my show like yeah you know what i mean well not really but no you are i always said that you are though yeah yeah Maybe maybe a, another one of those dreams, but yeah. But at least you're living it out right now, you know. In, in a way, yeah. Your music's being way. produced. In a way, yeah, it's being used. Yeah, it's being used out there to this amazing podcast, mm -hmm. reaching all kinds of people. Yeah, all kinds of people. You know, that's my, for sure. My um, my mother mentioned to me the other night. She's like, "Oh, you know, I was just on Instagram and I saw Rocco just come up on my feed, <laughs> the podcast, <laughs> on a microphone, and she was laughing." I'm like. You mean a podcast? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. She's like, oh, yeah. So, and well, I'm like, you know, look, look him up on, uh, you know, Apple Podcasts. Mm -hmm. She's like, wow, he's the first person that came up when I searched Rocco. I'm like, oh, thank well, God. It's kind of a big deal. Yeah, no, search engine opt <laughs> optimization yeah. there. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. My friend, actually, she works in, she, not like, not like influencer marketing, but basically she like deals with brand deals and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. uh, but she works with agencies and, her she looked me up to see like just my ratings and my engagement rate and stuff like that and she was like yeah. you actually are doing like really good that is fantastic and i was like oh thanks so much like it's a good show you have good content especially uh your your instagram you know you post a lot and you got your scrumper dump which i'm sure is coming up very soon in this episode yeah great segue into um, it Go ahead, Rock. Take it away. All right. So today's menu on scrumper dump. We are going to taste test a bunch of different beers. Yeah, you've been very into beer lately. I so I have. It's I honestly it's because fitting. of you guys. Yeah, yeah, it's only if, fitting. If it wasn't for you guys, I wouldn't be drinking beer. So which one are we doing first, Rock? Which one would you like? Hmm. Should we go with something I haven't had, or should we go with something I've had? Maybe we can establish a baseline. Yeah, yeah, yeah. With something that you've had. Okay. And then we'll go from there. All okay. Right. So this one's been my new favorite. Friendly, friendly old Miller Lite. Yeah. Okay. Out, out of the. Out of the can. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Out of the can. Go ahead, Rock. I'll pour you. Thank pour you. Yourself. So, you know, there's always a debate which beer is the best, and people always say it all tastes the same. But no, that's I not can, really true. Now having, well, my only basis of, I don't know how much we should pour. Not for yeah. a, a taste and have it be, uh, establish a good baseline for the yeah. rest of these beers. Yeah, the beers we have, if you're not watching on YouTube, we have a Stella. A Stella. Uh, Miller Lite, Modelo, Bud Light, and a Mick Ultra. Mick Ultras. Mick Ultras. They have a tremendous reputation. The ones I've... <laughs> yeah, they, yeah, they definitely do. The ones I have had are a Miller Lite and a Bud Light. And we're mm -hmm. starting off with a uh, Miller Lite. All right. Well, if you're ready. Cheers. I like Miller Lite a lot. This is a scrump. Mm -hmm. I'd say it's a scrump as well. Yeah, no. Miller, Miller Lite's good. I like that it's light. I used to yeah, not like yeah, beer light. because it felt so heavy to me. Well, that's the problem is our humble beginnings with well, beer. That really We, we started with Budweiser. Budweiser. <laughs> you know, the king. Yeah, the king. It's really hard to keep it going, mm. you know, after your first experience is Budweiser. Yeah. It's not a beer for the lighthearted. No. It definitely is not. So to be able to discover mm -hmm. drinks like a light beer, yeah, it's a little bit more approachable. True to certain people, that's very true. That are, you know, more inclined to drink vodka or. Mm. I mean, tequila is a little aggressive, but everyone says that it, it is aggressive. <laughs> is it though? Every time I drink it, I feel fine. Yeah, but you can't tell me that. After you have a shot of tequila, you're not like oh, you feel your insides like yeah, like rotting you're not, like, away, yeah, gagging a little bit. 
Mm, it depends on what kind you're taking. Really? Yeah. Oh, for sure. But like, there's no. I'm not speaking from experience about. It. I don't, no, I'm I, not, I know that, but no. I'm saying like I've had some tequila that like tastes like there's a cinnamon aftertaste to it, so it tastes like Fireball. Okay. So that's like not a terrible shot to take. Yeah. You know what I mean? Right. But I've also had tequila where I'm like, what? This is vile. Yeah. Like, like this is battery is acid that I just put down yeah. my throat. Yeah. That, that's. Well, I mean, especially as kids, like, what do we have access to? We don't have access to mm. whatever the tequila is with the bell on top. Oh, oh uh, Casa Azul. Casa Azul. Yeah. Yeah. We don't have access to that kind of stuff. Ooh, we got Budweiser. God, that's like $200 bottle. And um, what, what would be a tequila that we would have had? Jose Cuervo. Jose Cuervo. Because it's $20. Yeah. yeah. So that's not really establishing a good baseline. Oh, no. Because it's ruining your palate. Totally. Yeah, it's just totally permanently damaging it. Yeah, no, no, no. So, But the Miller Lite's a good start. I like this baseline. It's light. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's light. It's almost, a, it's almost like a cloud. Mm, cloud a palate <laughs> cleanser. Right? A palate cleanser. Yeah, yeah. it is. We could, in between each one. <laughs> yeah, in between each one, we're going to cleanse it yeah. with the uh, Miller Lite. Yeah, that's just perfect. Just to establish a good, solid baseline. So, we established that's a scrump, right? The Miller Lite's a scrump, right. yeah. So, the Stella is the next one because okay. it's closer to me. Okay. Um, let's just drink it. I mean, what, what do we know about Stella? Who, who knows anything about Stella or Artois? I, I don't. Nobody. I know nothing about Stella. Do you prefer, now when you order beer, okay, I guess it's at different out at a restaurant, but when you're out at a restaurant, do you prefer beer from the draft or the bottle? Draft. Really? 100%. Yeah. Why is that? Does it like, is it lighter? Is it the way like it comes out? So, as you know, beer has carbonation in it. Oh, yeah. I okay. could tell. In case, you, in case <laughs> yeah. the viewers don't know that. Okay, beer can get all over you. So what's good about getting it out of a out of the draft is that it gets all the excess out. Mm. So we're not sitting here burping all, all it, night. Got it. Got it. Got it. So it's like a kind of a good video from. Remember that guy, uh, John Taffer. John he does Taffer. bar rescue. Yes, yes, yes he basically yes, yes, yes. just goes into these bars <laughs> and just like screams and rips apart the people's livelihoods. Yeah, yeah. It just embarrasses them on national television, mm-hmm. right? Yeah, and he shows he, how he dirty all video the bars like, are. Like the proper poor. Like mm-hmm. everyone's like, oh, you know, you got to put the glass on the side. Right. He's saying to make the beer less bloater, bloater, what would be the less bloating? You just pour it straight in and let it just dissolve. Yeah, like let like it just let the go, carbonation like, just die down. Yeah, like, like right now, like most of the glass is bubbles. Mm hmm. And that's what goes in your stomach and gets you yeah. all bloated. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So for the most part, if you get a beer that's draft, at least it'll have a head on it. Mm. And it'll dissolve so it won't be just in your stomach sitting like you would drink out of a bottle uh, or so out smoother. of a can. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's smoother and you can actually take down dinner. Yeah, and enjoy and enjoy it. The food Afterwards. you're eating. Yeah. Yeah. So Oh, that's good to know. I didn't know that. Yeah, so that's why I prefer mm. draft versus the but bottle it does depend though it does depend though on what you're getting for dinner if you're getting a burger okay yeah beer. true but if you're getting pasta mm. you know you got pasta and beer that's a combo no it's not that's what i'm saying yeah you yeah. gotta get you gotta get a wine or something to really <laughs> you really yeah. settle into the culture oh no a wine for sure if right you're, someone's having pasta and beer i'm concerned yeah i mean you could do pizza but pizza and, pizza and, and wine. beer is popular pizza and beer yeah but pizza and wine, it, it, it might be pushing the limits a little bit. Because what are you trying to do there? You're just trying to make something like yeah. that's cheap look expensive. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> you know? Yeah. It just doesn't work. Mm-hmm. It, well, it works, but it doesn't feel right. Yeah. It doesn't feel Well, not right. the pizza here. Honestly, the pizza in Italy, like, because it's all yeah. completely different yeah. and very fresh and thin and yeah. amazing. I wish. That with wine. Is where it, where it, where it, where it's at. Yeah, but the, that, that's the true yeah, experience here in America. We you shouldn't be doing that. No, <laughs> like the beer is your safe bet, not it not is. a wine. It is it's a safe bet for most people. Mm-hmm. All right, so Stella, let's taste it. Scrump or dump, okay? Cheers. Ooh, hmm. that one. That one's bitter. Dump. Yeah, dump. Yeah, it kind of has the color of yes. Um, Stella's a dump. Piss. 
Ooh, yeah, it does. It does have the it color. Have <laughs> Honestly, why is it so? What's that aftertaste? Like, I don't know. It's like burnt. <laughs> do, you, do you know what it's I mean? It's not good. It's, no, that's a shame because I feel like I've had Stella before, and you've and liked it, and haven't had a bad experience. But yeah. this is not good. No, I'm not. I'm not enjoying that taste. Ooh, that's a dump. This is what. The first time I had Budweiser was like for me. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. I was like, what the hell is this yeah. shit? No, well, Budweiser is good for you. Talk about Well, I'm sure if I had it now, I wouldn't yeah. be opposed to it as much as I used to be. Right. But nonetheless, so before we go into our next one, you used to be a musician, Tom. Well, you honestly still are. You play you around. Are. You have... How many guitars do you own? Um, I own a couple, but... Usually you just stick to one. And what's one your favorite? Like, oh, it's a little Fender Telecaster. I like mm. it. You know, so it feels good under the fingers. It feels like home. You know, that's, that's nice. why I recorded the song with that. Yeah, with that one. No, it sounds awesome. Um, but you know, I have a couple, but I don't know. Most of them just sit around and collect dust. Mm. It's kind of a. It's just it's just a hobby. It's not like a, yeah, but it's at least a fun hobby, and it's cool yeah. to do and whip yeah. out. You know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> whip out. Yeah. You also play piano, though. Mm-hmm. That for a long time. I'm very jealous of because I wish I could play piano. Yeah, it's not not something I really do very much anymore. Hmm. You know, and, and um, when I was younger, I used to take lessons weekly, or hmm. you know, and then uh, started to get away from it a bit. I, yeah. I had different interests. You know, you grow up and you start drifting away, and mm-hmm. you start getting interested in other things. So yeah, for me, it was uh, getting back into sports. So I kind of gave that up and. When I started playing baseball again. Oh, right, right, right. In high school. Yeah, in high yeah. school. I kind of was like, all right, I'm going to start baseball. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, no. Sorry, Johnny. See you later. <laughs> my piano guy. Maybe maybe he'll reach out. See see if you want more lessons. Yeah. <laughs> probably not, though. He probably forgot about it. Yeah, me. but you, you, you learned enough to keep yourself going. It was yeah. a long time. Yeah. It so, was, you did uh, good. Eight years. It, that's, a, that's perfect. Yeah, a good part of my childhood was that once a week. Mm-hmm. So really one of the only things I'm, that I actually stuck with growing up. Was that? You know, I played sports and then I stopped playing sports. Yeah. Around the same time I was picking that up. Mm-hmm. And then I came back to sports and now it's like I'm kind of doing a bunch of different things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not really something I've used though. Mm. Same thing with uh, just being a musician in general. Yeah. It's not really something I've used. It's more of like a hobby. Other than this yeah, is but- the... the since high school is like mm-hmm. the most that I've actually used yeah, but that skill. You've for. enjoyed it all these years, you know? So it's great. Yeah, I was pretty involved in high school with that stuff, but yeah, you know, senior year started to drift away. Yeah, and then you got into college and you had your own radio show. Yeah, yeah, I did. Tell I was, me about uh, that. So the show was Double Shot of Rock on um, 90.7 WCL. <laughs> Wilkes University Radio. Yeah. Uh, there was a uh, two hour show. Two hours? Two hours. Wow. And um, I just played two songs from an artist as a double shot, mm-hmm. and um, which was good because you know there really wasn't much of that. I mean, I'm sure like maybe five people listened. Yeah, because who listens to the radio anymore, really, other than me? But especially that kind of music, nobody's listening to it. It's all, all classic rock stuff from the yeah. seventies, eighties, nineties. But it was it was a fun thing to do. It was a creative outlet as you would say no for sure because i mean it's for not two really hours of that. a show that's kind of crazy and that's yeah. really nice that you were able to have that you know yeah. what i mean and especially it was a job too you know get, to get paid by the school to yeah. do that that's even better and to be the metal director i'm not a metal guy but yeah, just yeah, like yeah. a job mm-hmm. like we all have just jobs we do all just have jobs whether or not we actually yeah. like it or not is a different story but mm-hmm. you know to get paid by the school to do that sort of thing and all right, say less. Just, I just have to do a show once a week. Mm-hmm. In sophomore year of college, I did it twice, like Tuesdays and Thursdays. Oh, wow. I would go and sit in there and it was a good spot to like, you know, maybe like do some homework or whatever in, mm-hmm. in, in between songs. But I mean, it was pretty extensive. I mean, you had to like plan the playlist and yeah. have things to say in between. Yeah, so, I was going to say, where is it like just continuous music that you were just playing or like would you like after a certain X amount of songs – You'd get on and be like, all right, guys. Like, I, I tried to keep it as continuous as mm-hmm. I could um, and fade the songs into each other so it wasn't like a random gap in me just talking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
because it gets kind of awkward. Yeah. Excuse me. No, it's okay. Yeah, that's what happens with the beer. I know. The, we're we're going to burp. We're going to belch. <laughs> so, like, I try to have, like, they give us, like, little things to say. An advertisement for something oh, yeah, that's sponsored. going on at the school mm-hmm. or, um, you know, places where you can get the school newspaper, or, you know, stuff that's, like, you know, whatever. Like, yeah, yeah, it's, yeah. It's, We couldn't do, like. Uh, commercial yeah, like, advertisement this friday do uh you know yeah like you know sign up for the homecoming whatever mm-hmm. at this day i'd be the same thing over and over and over again yeah but, football's at this time right right mm-hmm. so you know you have little things to read and you try and fit it in in the, the intro joy. of a song oh okay. so like the song starts and it's like I got to quick blast this thing out mm. and be like, all right, here's one song for two songs from Nirvana or yeah, here's yeah. two songs from Van Halen or something mm-hmm. like, to try and fit it in there. Um, and then I, on the back end, as the metal director, you get songs sent in from like all over the country from different bands just trying to get their music to be played on radio stations. No way, you would like listen to new artists' yeah, songs? I'd, yeah, I'd listen to them and then send them feedback and be like, hey, like, you know, this is really good. I'm going to play it. Yeah. Or, or it's like not answer. <laughs> <laughs> really just leave them on red? <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Because some of the stuff is so bad. Well, no, obviously some things, you can't play them all. But <laughs> No, no. <laughs> some just, of the stuff was so terrible. You would just not respond? No. Well, I mean, I guess that happens to everyone, right? You apply for, even when you apply that's for a job, you don't have to, you don't get a response if they don't want you. Yeah, it, but, it's a rough, it's a rough. Uh, that's so funny. I didn't know that. It's a rough business. Wait, so that's kind of cool when you would send out though your feedback. But would you send it before playing it, and then if they changed whatever you had suggested, you would then play their song? Yeah. Or I mean, I wouldn't expect them to change it, but I'd be yeah, like, yeah, hey, yeah. this is a little bit shitty. <laughs> <laughs> this song is terrible. Yeah, yeah. yeah but I wouldn't Plain say it simple. like that, but I'd be like, no, yeah. hey, like, this is not really the stuff we're looking to play mm-hmm. on the station. Mm-hmm. And it's just them screaming into a microphone with basically, it sounds like they're banging pots and pans together. Yeah, yeah. And they're like, like it's art. Yeah. yeah, yeah, it's like art. <laughs> like, no, that's not the stuff that we're going to play. Yeah. I was looking for more of a palatable mm. rock and metal. Yeah. You know, because there, there is some, there is metal out there that's not death metal. Like, when you think about metal, yeah, some people think about death metal where it's mm-hmm. like that. It's pots and pans and screaming and yelling and yeah. blood. It's like blood. All right. Like, let's tone it down a little bit. Mm-hmm. Because everyone's going to turn the station off. Yeah. This comes on. Because mm-hmm. they're going to want to crash their car into a building <laughs> if they if the song comes on. It's going to be like World War Z. <laughs> when, the, when the songs come on, they're going to want to start <laughs> running people yeah. over on the sidewalk. So we want to kind of tone it down you're a little right, bit. You're right. Let's tone it down. Let's try and... <laughs> crash. Yeah. Let's, let's try and be the bigger person. Too. Right. No, let's calm it down. Yeah. yeah. So, But th- there was some good stuff that mm-hmm. I would get and... Um, definitely get play time and I'm like, let's, yeah, yeah let's get some more stuff from you guys. Cause this stuff's pretty good. Right. So there were a couple of bands that I would communicate with pretty mm-hmm. often and they'd be sending me stuff covers and whatever. And I'd make sure I get them in the rotation cause we had metal Mondays. So I tried to oh. like, um, wash it clean of like <laughs> all the, <laughs> yeah, all the garbage that yeah, was that being played. Getting, yeah. And it, it was Metal Monday was pretty popular. Mm-hmm. It's kind of funny. I also would get emails too from people being like, what are you doing to Metal Mondays? You're totally ruining my whatever, my really my session or whatever they're whatever they're doing that day. Yeah. They're, I'm totally ruining their assault on on life. You know? What? Like, no way. They get so mad that I'm totally just destroying their their metal one day but i don't care i'm the director yeah who cares take it, take it up with upper management yeah exactly all right plus we, he comments we need them you know everyone yeah, has their so opinions I'm, I'm, so who cares uh well while we're talking about this i'm cranking open the dello yeah let's go on next, to the next uh, one portion yes. of scrumper dump yeah I, how has it been going here with this podcast and you get you're getting a lot of traction <laughs> how has it been going have you me? have you been reading the comments yeah and and how, the, how's the comment section doing well it, it's like people saying love this <laughs> <laughs> okay all right so it's all positive feedback um yeah right now it's all positive i mean hey they'll, they'll come a time where i'll get hey actually one of my tiktoks this is funny <laughs> i got so so much hate oh yeah oh tom oh jeez. like you have no idea the they're actually really funny though so 
Uh, I'll, I'll actually read Yeah, let's, let's read hear some. some of these comments because we all know that the, the comment section is like the new stage no. for comedy. So here's the days. thing. Very true. Yeah. I never read the comments section oh. on oh. anyone's post. Oh, yeah. And everyone, like you guys, Ty especially, he's always like, bro, you got to read the comments. I'm like, yeah. I never think to read the comments yeah. ever. It's a new world for me too. Uh, right? Yeah. Because, you know, you start to think that are people just not funny anymore. And then you look and at the then comments. you start looking at the comments and like, all right, and there people is hope. are creative. Yeah, <laughs> there is hope because people do tell jokes. There's some not, intelligence. They, they don't post them. Mm -hmm. I mean, in the comment section. Well, here's here's one comment. Oh, wait, so what's the context here? What's the TikTok? okay? So this, I posted this TikTok once, and it was, guys, I, I was I used to be really really good at posting TikToks, and like I, I would post them every single day. I needed to post something because I was like, oh my God, I'm going to lose my traction. You know, like I don't want to lose the the speed I'm at, like everything, yada, yada, yada. So I had to post something and I decided to just do uh, fashion trends because those were always, you know, getting high engagement. I'd, you know, get a lot of views for that. So I'm like, all right, it's starting to turn into somewhat of a fashion page. Like I'm going to post trends. And so I did 2023 men's fashion trend predictions. Okay. I did this, Tom, I'm not kidding. So late at night, like when I open, I'm like, I don't, I don't even fucking know any trends right now. Like mm -hmm. I act, I'm pulling shit out of my ass as I'm doing That's this. That's fair. So how are you supposed to know? How are you supposed to know? No, it's hard. But it's, it's honestly predictions. Hard. It's predictions. predictions. And it's based off of like other things I've seen. Okay. You know? All right. So we, we can we can understand a little bit of humility involved here. Yeah. Oh, for sure. Right. For hopefully, sure. hopefully people would understand. Hopefully but people hey, would respect. Hey, listen. Maybe. Yeah. Maybe I don't know. Right. Right. Well, <laughs> I don't know if I want to say the trends that I chose because some of them I would personally never do. <laughs> but I had I had to get content out. Yeah, like I was to. like, screw it. Like someone's gonna do this, mm -hmm. and this is for maybe that audience. Right. Yeah. I got. 474,000 views. Okay. That's, I got 34,000 likes. Okay. I mean, those are good numbers. Right? 216 comments. 216 comments. Okay. 7,000 saves. Wow. Yeah, so no. people want to wear this stuff, do they? No. Is that what the saves? I think we could say the saved saves. It because of the comment section. Oh. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. All right. Let's look. <laughs> Do you Let's, wanna do you wanna know the trends? Should I say them? Or should I just read the comments? Is it gonna help understand the comments section? I, I don't even know. Okay. No, no, no. I just gotta read them. Let's see here. Oh, well, here's the first one. This isn't a hate comment, but this is just funny because it's a typo. You can start light. Yeah, Krista. <laughs> Krista meant to say, oh my god, viral. She said, oh my god, vital. <laughs> okay. So she's really in she's really on your team. She's mm -hmm. believing what yeah, you're saying. Yeah, 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 yeah. So vital. Okay. So this is this one got 572 likes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Me predicting the weather after looking at the forecast on the weather app. <laughs> <laughs> that one actually was really good. And oh my god, the replies were just terrible. <laughs> I was like, oh god. Someone goes, is this satire? Because I feel like each of these has been a trend for a while. Like, oh, I literally was half asleep doing this, people. <laughs> Um, what's that? Oh, someone wrote, this is my worst nightmare. Uh-oh. <laughs> is it, well, oh, well, come on. You gotta, you gotta say the trends. All right. Now I, I gotta see okay. if I. So no, you would, you wouldn't do these either. Trust me. One of them was abstract nails. Okay. Ooh. Cause that was like a, a thing for a little bit. Like, you oh, know, like weird shapes on the punk. Yeah. Like punk rock vibes. Oh yeah. Cause that okay. was coming back for a little I, bit I can, for okay. like a second. Baggy denim. Okay. Which that's never not been in style. Honestly. Okay, who is that? These are just people I like. Those random guys? Yeah, yeah. This was um, one designer. Like, uh, I forget Jordan. what it was. But, oh, loafers. Loafers. You, but I, I wear them. Yeah, so they look this, good on you. Yeah, this was like really meant. This one was meant for me. Yeah, that, well, that was just a picture of your feet. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then I said leather. Yeah, leather. Because so, I, want, I wanted to obviously. buy more leather jackets, leather pants. Oh, and matching sets, like sweat sets. Oh, yeah. Which is really stupid. But yeah. Okay. Again. What's the big deal? What, what is so controversial about a matching set? Uh, no, I don't, I don't think um, there or, was anything controversial. Or leather jacket. Everyone was just like, these, are, these have been done. I mean, come on. 
like Sylvester Stallone wearing a uh, leather jacket. Yeah. No, someone said these have been on trend since 2022 or even earlier. Like, yes. Really? 20, we're, we're going to, I know, I know. 2022. Uh, Someone just goes, you're late period. (laughs) 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 No, they, some of them are funny. The the best one was the weather one though. Like I was like, uh, some people are creative. Yeah. Really creative. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it could be worse, right? I mean, it's based on the ones that you've read to me. Oh, it could totally be worse. I probably got another hate, hate on stuff, but honestly, I just, I like it. Like, I always <laughs> like the message <laughs> okay. in the comment. I'm like, thanks. Yeah, nice. I'm, I'm engaging. Keep going. Yeah, yeah. You, should, you should keep the engagement numbers up. Did you drink the Modelo? I had some of it. Oh, we didn't. I was kind of drinking it as we oh, went. Oh. But yeah, we can, I we can pretend that I didn't. Mm. Oh, that one. That one's that one's a yeah. scrump. That, that's that actually really good. Yeah, I will agree. That is a scrump. Mm-hmm. That is a good beer. That's good. From, yeah, from the southern region of this side oh. of the world. Very good. What, where's it from? I'm pretty sure Mexico. Oh, really? Yep. It says Mexico on the can. Brewed in Mexico. Oh, so that is something a, new. That's a good one. I oh, like that one. A lot. I, I like that. That was nice. Yeah, that was smooth. Oh. But yeah. We all get hate comments, you know, sometimes. Yeah, especially uh, once I you mean, start getting popular. <laughs> you're going to, you know, people are going to want to get jealous. Yeah, and, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Try and get their, get themselves in the limelight a little bit mm, uh-huh. with some dark humor. Yeah, that's true. We all love a little dark humor, though. We do. Well, comedians mostly have dark humor. Yeah, so maybe they're aspiring comedians. True. Right? Um, I love a good comic. Yeah. Yeah, we, we do that every year for your birthday. Mm-hmm. Every year. This, no, year, com- this year was good. good. And this year was very good. Yeah, my, my 20th was the first time we went, mm-hmm. and Jerry Seinfeld showed up. He did. I mm-hmm. don't remember much of him. <laughs> um, but he was. Don't worry, he called probably, you Probably He was probably good. Yeah, I'm sure he remembers me. Mm-hmm. Um, but I don't really remember much of his act. It was, it w- it was good. Been, it was good. It, it would have been good to actually, uh, you know, laugh. You, no, no, don't even worry. You were laughing. Oh, okay. Well, that's good. At least yeah. I was I was enjoying my song. Yes. You All kept right. cheering him on. <laughs> good. Good. I guess maybe it's a little much for him if you told me to, <laughs> to shut up. To shut it. <laughs> it was okay. It was a, that's the point of the comedy show, you know? Yeah. I mean, I'm not the first, I can't be the first guy that's no. annoyed him. Oh my God. No. Right. Not at all. Not He's at all. He's been doing it for 40 years, mm-hmm. probably at this point. Oh, yeah, forever. Because how old is he now? Probably 70. Jerry Seinfeld? Mm-hmm. Beats me. You can look it up. Yeah, it's just something different to do. It's not something uh, not something you get to do every day. Oh, he's 69. Holy shit. He's 69. Oh, that's a good guess. Yeah, you were, you were close. Right on the money, honestly. Yeah, yeah that was that Does was he have guess. a podcast? Does Jerry Seinfeld? No, but you know who does have a podcast? Rob Deerdeck. Do you know who that is? Yeah, Rob Deerdeck. He has a podcast, Tom. Really? Yes. I'm 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 amazed by that guy. I love him. Because of the He's like one of my inspirations. He should be. Because I don't know if you've ever seen there's a some guy, some YouTuber did a mm-hmm. like a video on Rob Deerdeck and about like the empire that he's built. Didn't someone didn't you send it in the group chat? Probably. Yeah. It's amazing. Like the deal that he did with um MTV, where they basically... Oh, I know. Like, he owns MTV. Like, obviously, yeah. he's the only thing that airs on MTV for, like, 10 hours a day. Mm-hmm. And then what do you get, like, Teen Mom 2 or something <laughs> afterwards for two episodes? And then you're back to Teen Mom ridiculousness? Two. Yeah. No, you're, you're actually right. And just, like, the, the whole concept of ridiculousness was yeah. just, like... It's perfect. A genius. Yeah. Genius idea. Yeah, it was like America's Funniest Home Videos. Yeah, except like, that, you know, ended and he kept going. Yeah, he kept it going and yeah. he had Chanel West Coast like cackling up there. Mm-hmm. No, he, he, I love Rob Deerdeck. Yeah. yeah, he's Fantasy awesome. Fantasy Factory was like one of my favorite shows growing oh, yeah. up. Oh, yeah. They would do it. It's like, I used to like want a friendlier to be a version of, uh, of um, Jackass. Like, it's not as like, rude or whatever a great as, comparison as, honestly as, as jackass yeah. because at least they were doing some stuff that like yeah yeah your yeah. three-year-old cousin could watch and it's not like them it's not like oh my god shoving things yeah. up them like they're up their asses or yeah nothing. yeah true so at least you could watch it it's like a family friendly yeah it, it was very it was very 
family friendly yeah I, yeah and especially because like his factory yeah was just like a, a kid's dream and land you, you longboarded for a little bit so I, tom i literally used to want to be a skateboarder yeah like so what i used it, to want to be in the x games yeah i <laughs> never made it there but i like loved him yeah i used to buy skateboards so, so how's to, the podcast though is it good it is? yeah it's very inspirational what does he talk about just money um, it, it, like talks about money he talks about like believing in yourself literally it's so inspirational i lo- I, I like some good uh, and he's got a good setup too i'm sure well obviously sure he's got a he's good, setup he, that guy yeah no, wow. he he's got a he's got a good one but i love him he's sure, honestly I'm, one of my ins- like yeah i'm sure his podcast is like a does he have like a lot of guests on is it like you know he posts deals? a lot of clips on his instagram and it's just him hmm. okay so that's that's tough yeah just sitting there just philosophizing trust, trust me i know <laughs> for, episode for, one yeah for of this podcast yeah, it, was, it was it was a good episode you kept it rolling i kept it rolling well i had to send it to you because you would be the most honest with me mm-hmm. out of everyone because you've done this before like in terms yeah. of, you know so i, I knew it was good I, I knew to trust you and when you told me it was good i was like oh i okay. thought it was really good yeah i, I was did. like i can do this this is giving me like the confidence i need i, I think we you got to get the podcast to the point where like you know you know the podcast whatever no the whatever podcast no what's this podcast it's basically like it's basically like a men versus women podcast oh my god <laughs> <laughs> basically like they have people storming out of the studio like yeah. people get so heated in there like that's that what i want to see for this podcast really i wanted to get like angry like, yeah like angry in here. interesting I, I that might be not on brand but <laughs> no not that's really. just what i want to say maybe you know, maybe I, one I, day i wanted to get to the level of some serious some serious conversations, inspirational stuff. Yeah, no, m- more inspirational. I mean, people getting up and leaving, but bye. Like, I, I would just stay sitting here. <laughs> yeah, yeah keep, keep it going. Yeah, I'd just be like, all right, see you later. All right, so we got two left. All right. So, Modelo is a scrump. Modelo is a scrump. Right. We're going in order if you're watching on YouTube. Stella's a dump. Miller Lite was a scrump. And Modelo is a scrump. Are we going to do Michelob or Bud Light? Which one? up to you man let's do bud light okay i kind of want to save the michelo because in all honesty i think that's the one i genuinely like i, I i've had a modello maybe once mm-hmm. and i don't remember well, like i didn't remember it but I'm trying to get the crack mm-hmm. i totally ruined it i know i just <laughs> it's okay we'll get it we'll get it on the next one yeah let the uh let the fizz kind of get out of there so but yeah we'll be able to talk without burping I know. Mm-hmm. Bud Light was my first mm-hmm. first round in like getting more qu- acquainted to yeah. beer. But then honestly, you guys showed me Miller Light. The rest is history because I actually do enjoy it. Yeah. Yeah. I made the switch. Um, yeah. I made the switch not too long ago. I preferred it to Bud Light. I did. Yeah. It's better taste in beer. But we'll see. I mean, it's been a while since I've had a Bud Light. So maybe they've changed the formula. The since. Krabby Patty formula. Yeah. The Krabby Patty secret <laughs> formula. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, that has like no flavor compared to the other ones. Wow. Bad. Bad. Now, now tasting it like amongst others, mm-hmm. that is so. That's so upsetting. Yeah. It it doesn't have the piss color. No. That Stella has. It's kind of more like a. In this lighting, it's more like a Mountain Dew. <laughs> Just a bad mix of yeah just of colors there Mm -hmm. yeah this was so oh this is a dump bud light's a dump yeah wow Mm. that's horrible so let's go back in time rock you uh, right let's should should we go back in time of course because as far as i'm concerned i think you're probably my oldest friend yeah we've been best friends since four years old long long time Mm -hmm. we were even at the age where we were like hanging out with each other's like cousins oh yeah i feel like that's like a level of friend that's mm-hmm. really you're, difficult you're to going achieve. To family parties, like, yeah, especially at people that are our age to, mm-hmm. to get to that level. Hundred percent impossible unless you start them young. Yeah, well, unless unless yeah. we're already friends with the cousins at mm-hmm. like five. Yeah, because you're a little bit more outgoing at like five years old. Think. Oh yeah, because you don't give a shit. You don't know yeah. anything. Yeah, exactly. It's so, so you're much just easier. Like, you want to play? All right, cool. No, I know. Yeah, but it's. Age then to now, holy shit. Yeah. My oldest friend for sure. And Mm -hmm. 
I agree. We did literally everything. We would hang out all the time. All hours. All hours of after, the night. Yeah, after school, we'd always have sleepovers. Mm -hmm. All the time. And it was the best. And we always had Elio's Pizza. Oh, don't even get me started. I know. Man. That stuff is... Crack. Amazing. It's so good. It is crack. That with beer would be good. Yeah. That's a good point. Like, that is what you want. Maybe next episode. Elio's with beer. I know. Sometimes I kind of want to incorporate food into it, like a pairing of, like, a drink with a, mm -hmm. a snack or something. Yeah. Um, but then you're, like, eating on the mic. Well, it's, it's might, a little weird. You might at some point run out of drinks to do a scrump or dump. Uh, yeah, maybe. So you might have to start incorporating pairings, like you yeah, said. Yeah. You know, wine and cheese. Mm -hmm. It was it was an idea that I had once to like maybe bring on food, but I think down the road snacks, not yeah. like meals. But mm -hmm. I think Elio's and beer would be a fabulous mm -hmm. meal. Yeah, but I remember eating that at your house all the time. We'd have uh, mac and cheese. Oh, pizza bagels. We'd oh, always yeah. have pizza bagels at your house. And you specifically mm -hmm. would only microwave them to a certain point mm -hmm. where the cheese like doesn't melt. Yeah, yeah. Cause <laughs> when, yeah, because what happens? What happens? With you were the always cheese, so particular yeah, about it because you know the way I am is I have my ways, mm. and it's very difficult for me to like change mm. change the things that I do follow the same routine every day like total ocd like yeah yeah, yeah yeah but like you, you said with the uh, pizza bagels i would hate when you would like just totally nuke the shit out of them <laughs> and they are the the cheese is like totally like gone yeah like it's and, like and they, there's nothing there it's like burnt off yeah it's yeah. it's they're all like chewy and mm -hmm. i'd like to actually get the cheese in there and but like, you also would it. do it to the perfect point where you're not burning your the roof of your mouth when you oh. bite into it we would come here pretty often too oh my God. obviously when we came here we would have enzas enzas and then we'd be in we'd be here in the basement mm -hmm. yeah the basement used to be decked we out with toys used to have this computer that was like mm -hmm. ancient a dinosaur ginormous mm -hmm. like huge computer no if it fell on us like it would kill us yeah and we would play um club penguin yes yeah yep. the club penguin yep club penguin was the best game yeah that that, that one kind of fizzled out as you would expect. i know sad though it, it had a really good potential a couple years ago they did shut it down i, I remember there was a i so know was a post about it I'm that sure the was comment section a marketing on that one scheme was, yeah you don't think they did they turned they took the servers down and uh, no i think they did but i think it was like trying to see like oh could we get it back up and running get a nice like revival out yeah, of yeah yeah like scare everyone enough to be like oh my god let's let's make an account let's sign back into our old ones which i don't even know how we even made them because now it's like email i couldn't even tell you what yeah, email we probably need like a five factor authentication yeah. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> yeah they need and, like my fingerprint at this point yeah and a date of birth and whatever yeah no, probably no, no. would need probably get our club penguins hacked mm -hmm. oh my god i know but yeah that was always a fun game i loved mm -hmm. club penguin that shit rocked oh, yeah it rocked it rocked all right yeah because you used to get to go to the club like that was like going oh, to the yeah, club you, like, young, stuff on <laughs> you could go to the club with all your penguin friends oh yeah and like just like that's yeah that's how they moved and, but what sucked is you would want to like communi communicate with like your friends on there but we had no way of saying hey get on club penguin unless yeah i know you know unless you're like hey get on there you lucked out home. yeah yeah you i know, know. When you see like all these kids from uh school that you don't talk to mm -hmm. like, hey what's up like, how's uh, it going yeah like, uh, hey yeah and then and you the, see them uh, the next day then you just have to pay for it yeah yeah that's no. that's when they were getting you since we're reminiscing we literally have the mr hawthorne in my house well that's not what i was gonna get into but <laughs> Just the fact that we did that. I know. you, Me and you both getting up in front. I actually was watching the video today. You were? Yeah, because I was going through my laptop clearing things out, and I was like, oh, my God. Did you have the good one, or is it the shitty one? That, the quality-wise? That, that, yeah, that Devin put in the group chat. It was like fucking... I think the shitty one. Shot through a yeah. kaleidoscope. <laughs> <laughs> you That's the one I have. Oh, my God. That's the one I have. Mm. <laughs> shot through a kaleidoscope. <laughs> yes that's the one i have and i watched it i think it's like three minutes and i'm not kidding comedy gold yeah like, we did a great it job was so on that. good we did a great job it was so good i loved it that was that was a great team effort i know on that on that production there and that little skit yeah it was really funny 
I liked, um, it was all improv too, which yeah. is the best. But I, I was very impressed when we pulled that off. I was like, wow. No, I, I think everyone was like, holy shit. Cause, like, cause what did these we, two we just both, do? We both know we did not rehearse that at all. At all. No, because Roos literally was like, what are you guys going to talk about? And you, and I was just sitting there like, and you would be like, we got it. Like, don't even worry. Like, <laughs> this is the premise. And I was like, mm-hmm. I'm like, don't worry, Roos. Like, it'll be fine. And you were like, it's good. It's good. And she was like, no, Tom, you have to tell me because we have to show we had to show our principal. Yeah. And you were like, it's fine. It's fine. We'll yeah. do it then. We'll do it then. Yeah. Because I, I had actually written a script. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And we were like, we were like, like fuck it. Well, we're not doing this. Yeah. No. This is so not funny. Because I remember a, a previous production of Mr. Hawthorne went to shit because yeah. they wanted to do a scripted version. Yeah. And it just totally took the magic out of the whole thing. It did. It did. So that's why this is not really it, scripted. And inherently, that's what happened is it became mm-hmm. an improv Yeah, because something went wrong and we were up there. I don't remember what it was. I don't know. One part of the skit like just wasn't the way we planned it. It wasn't hitting. Yeah. And, and then, they were like, nah, you got to cut this out. Yeah. So we were like, all right, screw it. Like, yeah, we're just going to, we're we'll just going to do it live. Yeah. <laughs> But we're just gonna yeah, do we it. said fuck it we're gonna do it yeah live. and we did but honestly it was that that was the version though the one where they said like let's cut whatever part out was the one we had presented to our principal yeah to get the okay to like do it and he was like oh if you just like change it like you, you'll be good but like cut that part do you out. remember what part that was uh, no i think it was along the lines of like no i I forget because watching it, I was like, "This was so good." Like yeah, it was good, <laughs> you know. I like I couldn't even remember what the joke was that wasn't hitting that because it was just so funny. Yeah. And I, I was like, "God damn!" Honestly, SNL should pick it up. I haven't watched it. I mean, since we did it, yeah. Maybe I watched it once since. I mean, what was that? Four or five years ago? Yeah, six six years ago. So, I haven't. Yeah. I haven't really. It's not like I watch it. No, yeah. Because the video is so horrible. That video that one. and the video that was supposed to be like a pro job by the, uh, what is it, the, the AV uh, club? Yes. They screwed it up so bad. I know. Because the idiot that was running it like unplugged the audio feed. Uh, so there was like no audio the whole time. Yeah, we were mic'd up. Yeah. No, it was it was good. The skit for that those of you me. who don't know, still annoys me to this day that we just, don't have a good a good shot of that. Of it, yeah. I, I do have the DVD still. Do you but, really? But I obviously I, I don't I even know if I have it. I haven't played it. I just I mean it's I probably could, I could take everyone somewhere through like the entire night of how it went down. Oh my god! Um, the premise of the skit because obviously not everyone was there. Damn. Tom was a therapist and I was the patient. Mm-hmm. And honestly, that's all you need to know. Yeah. <laughs> like, but the important part. And he wasn't my therapist. Right. It was kind of like a, a Borat. Yes. Kind of. I kind of yeah. did. I, I had like a good impression mm-hmm. of like a Russian guy. Oh, your accent was and, top, top notch. And uh, I guess I was just. I don't even know what how I would have ended up there. Like, mm-hmm. I, obviously, we were, we're not develop. We weren't going to develop a, a sitcom no. based on this skit. No, no. But just basically went with it. Yeah. No, it was great, and it worked out even better. Yeah. And th- the audience liked it. I was kind of the shocked. audience like, loved it. I didn't. I mean, at the time, I'm like, all right, I guess they think it's funny. But like, let's yeah, just like, it. let's just get this thing rolling. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was a good time. All the preparation. I know all the all, all the after school yeah, preparation, all the all the uh, the dancing and the production. It was really good for you know a program mm-hmm. or a school our size. Yeah, I mean now I don't think they even do it. Do they? Do you even know? No, I actually haven't. I texted Rusa the other day because she wished me a happy birthday, but mm. I haven't asked her how things have been going. I should. I don't know if they do it anymore. I don't think so. I don't think she does. Well, I don't think people want to. I mean, that upsets it's me. It's different. I, I, I wish things aren't the same. I know. I, I wish kids would do it. I know. Because it's something fun and it's something great to look forward to and throughout the year. Have you ever watched recently the videos we used to make? It's kind of funny because we that. used to make movies. Yeah. Yeah. With my cousins. Yeah. And um, 
I plugged my old computer in one night mm-hmm. and uh, I was just watching them. Just trying to see like, you know, I, I literally obviously had nothing to do. Yeah. So I was like, all right, well, we have this old computer. Let me just plug it in and mm. just see what's on there. And I mean, it was just like a flood of like memories. Really? Like all the old iTunes yeah, yeah, yeah. music and playlists on there. And then you go and look at the videos that we used to make. And like we would do like our version of the, what was it? Was it the notebook? The notebook. Was it the notebook? What's the what's the movie about the family that takes in the the football player? The Blind Side. The Blind Side. <laughs> oh my gosh! So we did a we did the our notebook. own version of yeah. I'm not a movie guy, as you can tell. Um, we did our own version of The Blind Side. Mm-hmm. I had no idea what that movie was, even when we were making it, and I've still never watched it to this day. The you've never seen The Blind Side? Never. Tom, it's a fabulous movie. I figured. I can't believe we. Made, I figured we made our own version. So why would I need to watch the real one? <laughs> okay, but it's an amazing movie yeah, and very actually, inspirational. Do you remember we I'm brought we that movie to... in? Do you remember we brought it in to school? Did and, we and watched it in library class? Oh my god! And you dropped the f bomb <gasps> as a little kid. Yeah, Tom <laughs> and and uh, our librarian Pilata was like having a fit. I do not remember this. Yeah, at all. I'll have to. I'll have to find it. And uh, but yeah, I remember very vividly that we were watching it in library i'm mortified yes yeah, i'm pretty sure you were in we were in the same class that when were we in the same class was it uh fourth grade or fifth grade no fourth i had ross and you had um mcleod, McLeod. <laughs> yeah when were we in the same class fifth grade i had uh seco was you had second grade Beetleman, didn't you was it uh, second, second grade, grade i had emerson yeah so did i and then you had um, Desario in third. Okay, yeah. You had second grade then. Um, it what's must, her name? Drexler. Yeah. It must have been. Um, it must have been second grade My that God. we made that, and then I brought it in the library. <laughs> Not me being in second grade with the potty mouth. God yeah. damn, dude. <laughs> she was like, "What? Like, are you kidding me?" Wow. I didn't realize that you said the f word in it before I brought it in that's i didn't really do much i mean i edited the whole thing i mean how old were we like oh well, because we don't know you're yeah. doing it and like you don't know what's right or what's wrong yeah just like you're just we're having doing fun. it now like yeah. we're just like yeah just free balling it exactly like you're just having fun you're enjoying your time mm-hmm. like you can't you can't be mad at the kids you no. know like nah i mean we don't know just, we're just kids right I yeah mean, we don't we really know us. yeah just our sense of creativity yeah being expressed in expletives yeah that's it it's fine um but well, I'm, yeah, I'm I, cracking up that I, I said, fuck. You did. <laughs> you did. I remember very clearly. <laughs> That's so and funny. She was all up in arms about it. Oh, I bet. Um, but yeah, we made other ones too. I don't know if you were in them, but were, what other ones do you remember? Which I would ones? love to know how our version of The Blind Side turned out. If we had any sort of football correlation in it or if we just went along the storyline yeah. of... That's so funny. I we'll have to rewatch them. I'm opening up the Michelob Ultra. Oh, yeah. So we've established that the... Bud Light's a dump. Uh-huh. The girlfriends want to have a podcast a podcast episode of, like, the girlfriends. I, I got to get a lot of mics for that. Yeah, you're going to have to really... I know. Get, to get a couple of them. I know. That would be... like I'm, I need all the guys on first, and then I'll do that. So this brings it back to what I said about that one podcast. Mm-hmm. Like we can uh, have one where it's the guys versus the girls and we can get some real, no, some real quality could, content. Th- this is like the perfect, the way the table shown on camera, it's not, it doesn't do it justice, obviously, but we could do it like either side and mm-hmm. I can have cameras yeah, like, yeah, you can have like on, one camera there. Yeah. One over here. I can get them in the corners too and like get everyone's like angles. So are you doing seasons here or is this just going to be like straight like seasons? Have, okay. So maybe season two. Season you know? two, we could try to do something like that. Each season, I think, is just going to be a year. Okay. All right. Mm-hmm. Got a long way to go, though. Yeah. But we build upon it. See yeah. How, see yeah. how far each, it goes. Each time we, we get more, right? Mm-hmm. I mean, you just keep going more and more. Yeah. Okay. So. Cheers. Um, Michelob. Michelob. We, we got to say, though, to finish it up, is Michelob a scrump? Yeah. Oh, yeah. That tastes like water. Yeah. I think it's very the lightest out of... Oh, this was 
I feel like I was drinking air, honestly. Yeah. I don't know why people are always like, oh, Michelob. That was actually kind of good. Yeah, like, I guess just because there was no flavor to it, but. It's definitely the wateriest. Yeah. Is it the cheapest? No. No? It's not the cheapest. Oh. I think the cheapest, What's the cheapest? is the um, Bud Light. Is, is the Bud Light. Oh. The Bud Light and the Miller, you, you, you could, but you, you, they're in the same category. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then once you get into the Michelob and the. Um, and the other two, Stella and Modelo. Yeah, yeah. That's kind of like the upper, the next tier. Got it. In, in beers. Got it. Good uh, to know. I think uh, my favorite, though, as far as taste goes, was the Modelo. Honestly, yeah, that was really good. Yeah, put it put it at the top. Yeah, maybe I need to go back to the Modelo. I yeah. mean, I'm, I'm a. You want to you want to go back around, or you're good? No, I'm good right now. I'm gonna close out the show. So I think that is our episode. Tom, thank you so much. Thanks for, for having me. No, thank you so much for being here. I hope you want to come on another episode and we do it again. I absolutely will. Thank you. Oh my God, that'd be I'm awesome. Excited. Yeah, no, this is going to be good. I'm excited. I'm glad like you, you enjoyed your time here. I did. And thank you. I can't thank you enough for the new theme song for the oh, show. You're welcome. Because I, I hope really everybody do else love enjoys it. it. Oh, for sure. Mm-hmm. It's the perfect, perfect song we need. I really do think so. Do you want to do any shout outs? You want me to do some shout outs? Yeah, just okay. throw a couple names out there. Um, okay, well, first of all, first and foremost, I should say, uh, shout out to Ari. You know who you are. Um, shout out to the boys from Hawthorne, uh, mm-hmm. my parents as well. Shout out to you, Rock, for having me on this podcast. Thanks, Tom. Go ahead, Rock. Who, who are you shouting? I'm curious. My, la- my shout outs are always the same. Shout out to my parents. Shout out to my sister, my sister-in-law. Shout out to the brothers, you guys. Shout out to you, Tom. Thank you for being here. And shout out to my poos. Shout out to Caitlin and Mackenzie, my creative directors. And that, that's all. That's our show. Everyone, remember to always be your best self. Do not forget to smile. Life's what you make it. So let's make it rock, rock stars. Have a great day. I will see you all next week. Thank you, Rocco. Thank you, Thank you for the applause.